All right, today is our uh, Supernatural Sunday. So this morning, I just want to remind us of uh, something might seem very simple, very familiar, but intending to encourage our heart. Four simple truths, four simple insights on how God has made it possible for you and me to connect to His power. Number one, we know that there is power in His name, in the name of Jesus. So how do I connect with the person? He's there with me. He's there with you. How do you connect? Through His name. Through His name. Now all of us, everywhere, wherever we are seated, inside here, at home, any part of the world, you can connect with the risen Christ just by His name on your lips. By calling on that name. By making mention of that name. By using that name. I mean, you can use whatever language you want, but it's His, his name. There is power in that name. You see, that name carries everything of the person whom it represents. And the person whom it represents, He said, all authority and power in heaven and earth has been given to Him. And so His name carries all authority, all power. It's wrapped in that name. And so one way that you and I access or you and I touch Jesus to connect with that power is through the mention of His name. A second way that you and I connect with the power of God, the power of that of the risen Christ is by His Holy Spirit. So there is Holy Spirit power available. Amen? The Holy Spirit ministers to us. He brings that power into our lives. His power touches our bodies. His power touches our minds. His power touches every part of our lives his power drives out evil spirits so there is holy spirit power the power of the holy spirit works in our lives and every believer has access to this and we are called to minister to other people by this power in acts 1 8 jesus said you will receive power thirdly there's the power of his words there's power in the word of god so you say god You said in your word, by the stripes of Jesus, I have been here. What are you doing? You're connecting with power because there's power in that word. You say, God, you said all the works of my hands will be blessed. That word has power in it to cause that to take place in your life. God has made his power available to us through his word. No word from God is void of power for fulfillment. Every word is carrying the power of God. So when you take a hold of that word, when you speak that word, you're accessing God's power. You're connecting with God's power. And lastly, number four, it's the blood of Jesus. Now, how do you access the power that's in the blood? First of all, what is the power that's in the blood? The blood speaks. The blood is testifying to what Christ did for you and me on the cross. The blood is an announcement. It is announcing that Jesus paid the price for our sins, for our redemption, for our healing, for everything. So the blood is that announcement. It's speaking. It's it's a declaration of our redemption. Now, when you and I testify to what the blood has done for us, then you access that power. So you got to, you and I have to testify to what the blood of the Lamb has done for us. That's how we access the power of the blood. That means everything Jesus died to provide is available in that blood, but you and I need to say, you and I need to testify. I believe the blood of Jesus has redeemed me. I believe the blood of Jesus has broken Satan's power over my life. I declare the blood of Jesus has cleansed me. I declare the blood of Jesus has brought me into a covenant with God. So when you and I start saying what the blood of Jesus has done for us, then that power 
the power that's in the blood becomes effective in our lives. And you and I are, so to speak, plugging into the power source when we do that. 